Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another hamper unboxing for you from Social Network Solutions. They very, very kindly sent me over this massive ooh, hamper of goodies. So this is the Culinary Delights hamper and it's full of lovely foodie bits, which excites me massively, I can't lie. So I am gonna dive straight into this. So first off at the top of the hamper is this card and it says Dear Kate, we're so excited to have you be part of our Culinary Delights hamper. We hope you like it and enjoy showcasing some amazing brands. All gifts come complete with a direct link and some even have exclusive promotional codes for your followers. I will leave all of the links to the items that I've mentioned in the description box below. It says don't forget to take a look at our website so you can see all of the exciting campaigns we've been involved in as well as the new events and campaigns coming soon. Right, let's get stuck into this then. I am gonna find it really hard to refrain from eating all of this stuff because I am really hungry, it's lunchtime and I'm going out for lunch after I've filmed this video so wish me luck guys, wish me luck. So first off I have these crackers from Peter's Yard, they do look very posh and they come with this little booklet which says that they are the natural choice for cheese. Do you know what? Cheese is my vice. I love cheese, but I try to stay away from dairy because it does break me out. But over Christmas, I've had so much. I've really indulged in like cheese and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So there are sourdough crisp breads in here. They're all sourdough and these are the original ones. There's also charcoal and rye. Charcoal seems to be really in at the minute, isn't it? And there's also spelt and poppy seed ones. These sound really, really nice. Ooh, I'm excited to try these. So in the booklet it says, our sourdough crisp breads are chosen by many top chefs and cheese experts to serve with cheese. Oh my God, imagine being a cheese expert. What a job title. We ask them for advice on how to create the perfect cheese board. And then it's got a load of tips on how to create the perfect cheese board. Wow. Oh, and it's got the different cheeses that you could use. Oh, this is great. To be fair, I reckon I could add cheese expert to my CV, if I'm honest. Oh, I've got some more crisp breads from Peter's Yard. This is just a full packet of the original ones. I'm gonna have to get myself some cheese, aren't I now? I'm really, really tempted. And I know that it's gonna break me out, but Oh, I really, really want to. <laughs> okay, I keep finding things from Peter's Yard. I've just pulled out these, which is a full size packet of the Spelt and Poppy Seed crackers. I'm gonna be crackered up. So it says that these don't contain any artificial flavors or preservatives or colors, no hydrogenated fat, high in fiber, low in sugar, 31 calories per crisp bread and suitable for vegetarians. Oh, it's got a picture of it with avocado on the back. I might do that with it actually. I am so basic, I love avocado. I have it like every day for my breakfast. Okay, I've just found something that excites me massively. Look at these sweets and this lolly from Pandora Bell. The packaging of the lolly has a unicorn on it and it's just the prettiest pastel colors. I haven't had a proper lolly like this in years. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. And I've also got these real fruit jellies with 70% fruit pulp. They look so, so nice. They're like little sugary cubes. Mmm. Oh, it says they're vegetarian and vegan friendly, gluten free, fat free, no added colours made with natural flavours, no added preservatives, and GM free. That is really, really good. And like I said, the packaging, adorable. They also came with this little booklet, which is super cute. And it says they are the best of European confectionery. They use premium ingredients natural colours and flavours. Oh, I think this is what I have. Is this it? The pink lemonade lollipop. Unicorn special edition, 2017-18. Inspiration, it is unicorn season and every child's dreams are filled with timeless mythical creatures. My dreams are always filled with timeless mythical creatures, not gonna lie. At Pandora Bell, the classic pink lemonade lollipop has taken on a new magical significance with a special edition unicorn insignia. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I love that so much. Oh guys, also from Pandora Bell, I've got these chocolate caramels with fleur de sel. It says they're an elegant butter caramel with chocolate and natural sea salt. They're gluten-free. 
and also look at the packaging how cute is this look at these they're in proper sweetie wrappers as well that is so cute that literally reminds me of when I was a child I haven't seen sweets in proper sweetie wrappers in ages is that just because I don't eat sweets a lot I do try and be healthy most of the time but I have such a sweet tooth guys honestly Things like this make me so, so happy and I always have like a little stash of something nice in the house just for, you know when you really want something sweet. Oh, these excite me massively. By the way guys, Happy New Year. I've just realised this is my first video of 2018. So I hope that you had an amazing New Year, whatever you got up to. Next up, this box is from <gasps> Emily Crisps. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's loads of packets of crisps. I love crisps so so much and if I can get crisps that are slightly healthy then that is a really good thing for me okay so we've got a few little packets these are veg crisps and it says they're crunchy french beans sugar snap peas and black edamame and then 95 calories these honestly excite me so so much because crisps are my downfall and I do like to have a healthy diet so like I said, anything that kind of helps me out with that is great. And I do actually really like veg crisps. These ones are crunchy pineapple crisps. I've never, ever tried fruit crisps before. I guess they're just like dried out pineapple. I like dried pineapple, so I'm assuming I will like these. Oh, it says, Emily loves discovery and delicious food, traveling the world, seeking out exciting adventures and delightful flavors. On her travels, Emily found an innovative way to create amazingly crunchy crisps from the freshest fruits and vegetables. Believing that snacking should be fun and tasty, Emily makes quality crisps with a crackle and crunch from her own favorite fruit. Crunch on exotic and delicious pineapple, a tangy sweet and fruity crisp and there's no added sugar they're gluten-free and completely natural I am all about that Emily I like that and we also have crunchy red apple crisps they sound lovely crunchy fig banana <gasps> I like banana chips you know I reckon these are gonna be a favorite crunchy sweet potato carrot and beetroot crisps there's so many packets in here and then I've got a big one of that flavor and on the side it says one of your five a day who knew you could get one of your five a day from eating veg crisps? That has just made me so happy, you would not believe. And I've also got a big packet of the crunchy French beans, sugar snap peas, and black edamame as well. I'm so excited about these. Ooh, so this box says, what a melon, watermelon water. Watermelon is honestly one of my favorite things in the world and I actually just love the box it's amazing oh it says hey Kate happy new year from all of us at watermelon to enjoy our melons to the max make sure you chill them first okay I will be sure to stick them in the fridge thank you so much oh you don't know how much this excites me watermelon is just so so nice and refreshing and amazing and mm, 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 mm. so it says packed full of naturally occurring electrolytes the awesome antioxidant lycopene not entirely sure and the muscle loving amino acid citrulline watermelon is here to help you shake share and celebrate the endless summer vibes i'm all about it and it says there's definitely no faking the goodness of this fruit watermelon keeps it 100 percent real no concentrate here just the all natural taste of summer without the bits and pips can you get any better than that that's the only thing that puts me off watermelon the pips they're so annoying but yeah i am super super excited to try these next i've got these packet of karma bites and it says they're high in protein they're caramel flavored and they are great tasting popped lotus seeds and i've got a little card from them and it says step aside popcorn there's a new healthy snack in town brand new snack brand karma bites is the revolutionary way to snack thanks to its main ingredient something we guarantee you won't have tried before karma bites are made from popped lotus seeds which hail from the revered lotus Lotus flower, a much loved snack eaten by generations and generations of families in Eastern cultures. Karma Bites have harnessed the nutritional power of these relatively unknown super seeds for us all to enjoy. Karma Bites come in four delicious flavors, peri peri, 
caramel wasabi and himalayan rock salt they all sound really nice to be fair and i'm so excited about these again i love savory snacks that are healthy and these are gluten free and vegan as well which is fabulous next up from pure bite i've got these bite size grab and go snack nut clusters and these are in a hot and spicy flavor that sounds really really nice and they're dairy free and preservative free as well so these are a source of fiber a source of protein gluten gluten free and vegan so they are another really really healthy snack I'm excited to eat these next up I've got this box and it says let the olive evolution olive evolution olive evolution begin whatever the pronunciation is I am all about this I love olives so so much it says because finding proper snack olives is as difficult as finding the last pair of socks in the wash and then I've got a card from them and it says hey Kate it's about time your olive dreams came true oh wow to introduce ourselves we are Ollie and Sam two brothers who recently launched Ollie's olives hi Ollie and Sam the world's first unpasteurized olive snack pouch crunchier textures stronger flavors and maintaining more nutritional value than ever before. In this hamper are our three debut flavours. We've got plenty more innovative flavours on the horizon so keep your eyes peeled. I will do. We are currently stocked in our 200 stores across the UK and you can order directly from Ocado and our website olliesolives.com. We hope you love them as much as we do. Merry Christmas. Oh thank you so much. That is so so sweet. Okay so we've got the basil and garlic green olives. They sound really nice. The lemon and thyme green olives. Green olives are actually my favorite olives. I'm not the biggest fan of black olives. Like I will eat them, but I do prefer green olives. And then I've got these, which are the chili and rosemary green olives. Those sound really nice as well. And they've all got their own names. So these are the bandit olives. Oh, these are the hippie olives. That's so cute. I actually love the packaging. It's absolutely adorable. And they're all in little pouches so you can take them out and about with you. And it says here that they contain no artificial preservatives, no messy oil, and no stones. Fabulous stuff. And these are the connoisseur olives. Oh, and then I've got a pair of socks. That is so cute. Thank you so much. And then I've got these kind bars. So, oh, these look so nice. This is the caramel, almond, and sea salt bar. <gasps> that looks so so good guys i can't even tell you so this is 64 percent nuts gluten free high fiber no artificial colors flavors or preservatives and ingredients that you can see and pronounce i've got to say i always check the ingredients of products that i buy because i don't like buying food that contains ingredients which i have no idea what they are especially ones that contain numbers like anything that contains numbers just has no place in the human body in my opinion i mean not saying that i don't eat foods with e numbers and things in but i definitely try and keep them to a minimum and there's also this one which is the peanut butter and dark chocolate <gasps> that sounds so good i love cereal bars to be honest like i love having them with a cup of coffee kind of mid-morning they just kind of power me through until lunchtime. they're kind of a staple for me and i've got this one which is the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt these all sound absolutely amazing oh next up i've got a bag of rosemary water first off i actually love the bag so much these are so handy for just putting in your handbag to go shopping with um and on the back i don't know if you can see this but it says hashtag super herb i love that and it just says rosemarywater.com i actually love the flavor of rosemary i think it's so so nice so what do we have in here it says number one rosemary water a drink to remember so it says rosemary's main active ingredient is rosmarinic acid who knew? A plant-based compound which displays general antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects and anti-carcinogenic properties. Wow. It's also used to treat common conditions such as arthritis, cataracts and bronchial asthma. I have that. Actually, do you know what? I have found that including foods which have an anti-inflammatory effect really, really helps my asthma and it seems to really help my skin as well. I'm honestly one of these people who thinks that you can literally change the way that your body feels with your diet, like 100%. Having a healthy diet has helped my asthma so, so much, guys. And it also says another naturally forming compound in rosemary is eucalyptol. This increases levels of a chemical and neurotransmitter known as, oh, I can't even pronounce that, acly 
clot no um, <laughs> which plays an important role in enhancing memory performance I could do with that to be honest my memory is not the best and it also contains glucosamine an amino sugar which helps to strengthen cartilage and joint tissue and is commonly used as a powerful supplement is also found in rosemary and very few other natural food sources okay so we've got this I love the packaging by the way I think it's absolutely gorgeous and yeah it's just a drip actually I'm gonna try this I'm a little bit thirsty it's fizzy Ooh, it smells like rosemary. I don't know why I even bothered to say that. Of course it's gonna smell like rosemary. Okay, it's probably a little bit unclassy of me to drink this out of the bottle, but hey. That is really nice. That is funny, it's kind of a weird sort of flavor. I've never tasted a drink with rosemary in it before, but I do really like that. It's very herby, obviously, and it's just, it tastes like fizzy rosemary. It's really nice. If you like rosemary, I reckon you would like this. So I've got two bottles of this, and then I've got a carton as well. And there's also this little cocktail book as well, which tells you how you can use the rosemary water in cocktails. Like, that is genius. That would taste so, so nice in a cocktail as a mixer. Some of these look so nice, you know. <gasps> oh my gosh, this one, eternal punch. Fig-infused cognac. Wow, white rum, rosemary water, sugar syrup and lemon juice. That sounds unbelievable. Oh, I need to try some of these. So thank you so much to all of the brands who contributed to this hamper as well as SNS. I am so, so excited to try all of these lovely bits out. Oh, I am genuinely excited. I'm such a foodie. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these brands before and what you think. And if you haven't, which would be the food that you would try? Let me know down below. I don't know which mine would be. Like, I literally like the look of all of this stuff. There's not one thing I've picked up and thought, oh, that's not something that I would eat. I mean, I eat pretty much anything, to be honest. I love food and I love trying different types of food as well so I hope you enjoyed this video it's a bit different from me but let me know what you thought down below give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as usual and I will see you in my next video guys bye